let's now talk about Jamar Chase and T Higgins. So just when it looked like it was all about T Higgins, Jamar yeah, Chase right. decided to get involved. Uh, maybe this is uh, his way of uh, helping his buddy out with the PR. I don't know. Uh, but so, yeah, I mean, it just completely caught everybody off guard. I, I, I guess I think the general vibe and consensus was he's entering his fourth year. Typically players in that position, they have to play four years until they get the extension with the fifth year option. But this year became different when you had guys like Panay Sewell, Christian Derisaw, uh, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, all guys who were drafted in that first round, Jamar Chase, they've already signed extensions. So they became these exceptions to what used to be the rule. Or like Justin Jefferson, Nick Bosa, just off the top of my head, they had to play four years until they signed like market resetting deals. So that was the assumption entering training camp. But I think Chase kind of saw his his peers get paid these huge contracts. And obviously, everyone knows that he deserves it and he will get that contract eventually. But I think it all progressed faster than the Bengals expected and maybe Bengals fans expected as well. And that's why he is preserving himself. He's just not practicing. He's still with the team. He's still attending practices and he still doesn't want to be that big of a distraction. But I can understand from his perspective, not wanting to put your body on the line before you're about to get paid this. And this is a way to speed up the process from the Bengals perspective. They talked right before training camp about, yeah, of course, we're going to bend over backwards, which was the exact words that President Mike Brown said. But again, I don't think that they expected to have to go through this right now. I think they expected this to happen next year when they had when they still have Jamar Chase under contract for another year in 2025. So I think this was a way to, for him to speed up that process. But of course, this is the Bengals and these things take time for them and they're pretty ar archaic ways. So typically late August, early September is when the biggest extensions in Bengals history have happened. And we're definitely approaching that time right now. So odds, percentages, do you think the deal will get done? I, I put out a toss up to be honest with you. I, I still think the Bengals feel like they have leverage and just him being under contract for two years, but um, it, it's still a bluff that I think Jamar Chase wants to portray as like, I, I may not play in the regular season until I get a deal. And he's definitely the second most important player on the team. So I think it, it would definitely be good for everyone to just get a deal done now. Yeah. Um, but like, this is going to be something that I think definitely does run up into the deadline. And I can't say for certain which way it's going to go. Yeah, when players uh, threaten to sit out the season, I mean, come on. I mean, nobody sits out the season. So no, of course not. It's ridiculous. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, know we, we get it. Okay, so what's the latest on Higgins? He looks the best he's ever looked. I think him showing up for training camp after signing the franchise tag, he didn't do what Jesse Bates did, which was hold out and just, you know, not practice and be away from the team until – right before the 2022 season when he signed the tag. I think he wanted to take the opposite approach and just solely focus on having the best possible season that he can. And that is why like, he's out there in training camp. And I think he's playing a lot free and loose, and he looks like a dominant receiver. Now, of course, he's getting like all the number one looks, and I think he's better... He's a better receiver than the Bengals have a cornerback. Like so, I think it's a mismatch every time that he goes out on the practice field, and obviously it helps when Joe Burrow is throwing him the ball. So he looks great. I think he looks poised to maximize his second contract year in a row, and hopefully that leads him to getting the deal that he deserves. Uh, and again, the whole the whole deal is, uh, speaking of deals, is he's going to play one more year, and then he will be somewhere else in 2025. Pretty much, yeah. I, like a, a second tag is possible but that's still going to be a lot of money to spend on the second receiver so okay uh 